Hello YouTubers, Wildcat Piper here, coming to you from the homestead. Now I know what you're thinking. I sure hope this video is not all about Wildcat's backyard. Well, it's not, but I did not want to absolutely freak you out. So I thought I'd start here like this and then slowly let you see my dilemma. Now, I didn't say it was a bad dilemma. I just said my dilemma. I thought what I would do today is kind of show you my cellar. Of course, I didn't have room to... I kind of have my tobacco spread out all over the place. Some out in the Wildcat Lounge, some in my pipe room. So I thought I would bring them all out here in the kitchen and put them on the table. But this is my collection to the best of my recollection. And um, just to kind of break it down a little bit for you, I couldn't break it down how I completely wanted. But as you see this little line right here, all the way down, all of this is my English stash. That is my favorite blend. I really like this one. Uh, it's autograph signature of the fourth generation, 1882, which is in English by Eric Stokeby. It's one of my little prime possessions. And, uh, but there's all of these different blends. Of course, you Heard me talk about Fuchsia's rations, bingo slices, there's gum Durbar that I haven't opened yet. Here's some uh, Balkan Blue that's not opened. And then these are uh, my sample sizes. These little jars here are great for sample sizes. And, uh, you know, when you get samples from people, um, I put them in those little jars there. You can see all of them. There's Penzance. Not a favorite of mine. Didn't quite meet up to the hype that everybody talks about, but I know a lot of people like it. And so my daughter is exiting the house because they're making a whole lot of noise. This right here is kind of, kind of, I've thrown everything together here. If you can kind of come down this way, around the bat and the hat, around there. Kind of like that is all Burleys and Virginias right here, and uh, old Dark Fire, my great one, Magnus Opus. Um, now I know some years all ago. Now those are vapors, and I know there's some vapors of Virginias and Burleys all in this one area right here, and this here are all my uh, my um, arrows. You can see there. The ones that have color tops are all my Christmas blends. These right here. This one is too, but it doesn't have a cap on it yet. And Winslow. So these are all my Christmas blends right here. And the one thing I wanted to show you too is right there. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. So got a pretty good amount of Sleepy Hollow for me yet. And then uh, right here, this is a bag of all samples. Um, just packed full of samples. Uh, these are great to take to work with you. And uh, you just grab a bag and go to work. And I usually smoke it till it's gone. Then I'll come back in and I'll grab another bag and take it out. Uh, that's a good way to do it. Um, there's the Black Ambrosia and then the 7C series. Um, I've got these two and I've got several of them in jars. Um, there's Drew Estates. I also have uh, some Drew Estates meat pie right here, which I have not opened yet. I'm kind of waiting to open this and open, have not opened my dirt bar, have not opened this. And I can see that there is 
I don't see one of my, oh, there it is. That Colt's not been opened. And um, the Shenandoahs are great. I've taken these a couple of times to work. The bootleg and the um, barrel number 76, those are good. Bat in a hat. This one I haven't really been able to get into too much. And uh, the black ambrosia I've tried, but there's just others I like better than that. But this is, uh, this is mine there in the back. That moonshine is beside the Sleepy Hollow right there. And that is, I believe, Admiral's Choice of Vanilla um, Cavendish. And then that big jar right there is Sherman's March. And then you can see all these other different ones. The names, I don't really want to go through all of them. There's some Bullseye Flake, some uh, Owl's Head, Scotty's English Stout, which you all know I really like now, and uh, some great hiatus from Scotty's. Now, there's a couple of, I haven't even shown you yet. I'm getting ready to. It is this. It's, uh, it's from Mountain Spirit. It's shaman smoke. This is actually an herbal tobacco. I have never not smoked this yet. I've got this one. And I also have this one right here. It's called Breathe Easy. Um, these are from, these are herbal tobaccos. Uh, I was watching uh, Northwest Piper um, one time. And P Northwest Pipe, is it Piper? I can't remember now. Pipe smoker. But uh, he had those on there. And uh, I ordered some and still haven't smoked it. But this this right here is my cellar. And the thing of it is, is I think this is a lot. But I know that you guys have some that would miniature this. And... Um, my wife thought I was ridiculous. She thought I was nuts. But anyway, hope you guys are having a great, great evening. Hope you guys have a chance to blow some smoke rings in the air. But above all, my friends, be blessed. Talk to you soon.